Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, or rather, an invitation for your ship to be featured on one of my videos. I'm going to be running a design tournament for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. You can send in your design of a 1920 battleship. The tournament's going to be running as such. I have five nations that you can enter a ship for. It's going to be United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. I'm going to keep it small so it doesn't exactly turn into a huge tournament at first. Every design that gets entered for a specific nation first gets vetted by me, and then it gets entered into a pool. Once it's in that pool, it is possible to get turned into the battleship that represents that particular nation. Now, because Dreadnoughts really only allows one nation or one ship class per nation, or one ship class per battle, I mean, if I have, for example, the battle as such, I can say I want to have um, one battleship, uh, or I can have 15, but they're all going to pick the same design. That's the limitation, and that's the one we have to work with. So, designs that you send in are going to be entered into a pool. Once the deadline closes, and the deadline is September 10th, so that's in a week, I will pick a ship from the design pool for the particular nation, so the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, at random. That ship it's going to be taking on the other nations. It's going to be the representative of the nation. There is a design limitation. If you want to design a ship, you can pick any of the nations, as I just mentioned, but there is a $200 million cap. Your ship cannot cost more than $200 million. Now, this is a reasonable limitation. It is still very possible to make a ship that will perform well in that class, but you might have to make some trade-offs. Now, using the link down below in the description, you can send in your ship. You can send in your design. Again, I will vet the designs first, so we don't have any extremely trolley designs or extremely uh, weird designs or designs that are over budget. And as such, it will get entered into the pool. What you need to know about the battle is that the conditions will be day. It's going to be... Uh, clear, it's going to be morning. So daytime, day, here we go. These are the settings that we'll be playing around with, which means that you don't have to worry about ships suddenly appearing in a storm. Although that would make for a very interesting setting, albeit for a different tournament. So we're going to be seeing the Spanish take on the Italians, we're going to be seeing the British take on the French. Well, they have been doing that for hundreds of years. We'll just see it again. All battles will be turned into videos. The AI is going to be controlling all the ships. I'll just be there to comment on the designs, comment on the performance of the ships, and uh, please keep in mind that this is a very important element. Your ship will not be controlled by me. It will be controlled by the AI. The ships are going to be operating in teams of three. So it's going to be three battleships of the Spanish against three battleships of the Italians and so forth. So it's not such a case that if one battleship goes down, the entire battle is lost. You might still be able to have the other two battleships win the fight. If the entire enemy team is eliminated, and that means no functional warship is left, this can be because the ship has been sunk, it can be extensive fire, it can be overwhelming... Uh, sorry, that is overwhelming fire. It can be crew loss. Any of these are valid conditions, so long as the battle ends and a clear victor is decided. That's when your team gains points, and that is when you get to advance to the next round. All the rounds are going to be captured and shown in this challenge page, which is also linked down below. It also contains all the rules, um, as does the Google form. And you can see what the rounds are going to be. So it's going to be round one, Italy versus Spain, Germany versus France, etc. The winner progresses to the next tier. Uh, the loser isn't immediately out, because the loser of this first battle is going to go on to fight the loser of the second group. So if your ship's designs turn to be uh, reduced to ashes or sunk or whatever nasty condition afflicts them, they will not be out of the fight immediately. You will get to see them again. Now this means we'll get 15 videos out of this tournament, we'll get 15 different battles, and well, there can only be one clear winner. Let's see who it's going to be. Down below is the form where you can send in your design. 200 million is your limitation. I very much look forward to seeing what sort of design you come up with. Hope you guys look forward to the tournament, I do. All the links down below, 
All the information's on the page there, and I shall see you guys soon for the first battle of the tournament.